So, good afternoon everyone. Uh, I'm a pupil and I like playing video games. I can play a game uh, two or three hours on weekdays and four or five hours on weekends. Maximum of course because I also have other duties. Um, so, uh, and, you, and you can say that, oh man, uh, are you serious? Um, can you be interested in more serious things than just sitting and clicking your mouse with your keyboard? Uh, it will never teach you anything new and even can aggravate your abilities. In some ways, uh, these arguments may be true, because if you play a lot and forget about your everyday things, of course it will negatively affect you. Uh, but uh, you can also read an interesting book or watch TV all day long and also forget about your affairs. And you also can say that uh, reading a book you can gain knowledge or discover an interesting story about love or crime. Um, but did you know that playing a game can also gain a lot of experience? So, um, let's take uh, one game uh, named Portal. Um, do you know about this game? Yes. yes. No? Yes. Uh, so, uh, as, as you know, um, well, here is a, a screenshot. Uh, this game is about a, a woman uh, who wants to escape from an unknown lab. Okay, uh, there's not uh, an obvious explaining of a story, but this game, this game is not unique in it. This, uh, this game is unique in its game process. So, as you can see, uh, there is a portal gun. It shoots with uh, two uh, portals, blue and red. So, when you're into entering, entering into a blue portal, you're exiting from a red. And, and when you're entering into a red portal, you're exiting from a blue. Such a simple, such a simple thing, but uh, very extensive. Um, I'm not... I'm not going to tell you that playing video games a lot is actually good for your health, but in reasonable doses, uh, they can uh, they can damage you. They uh, can can damage you, your abilities, and even can improve some parts of your mind. So um, next, uh, so this is our brain. As you can see, uh, it consists of uh, six parts. Uh, we're, inter we're interested only in two of them. Uh, they are parallel lobe and frontal lobe. So, so parallel lobe. Uh, this part of our mind uh, controls uh, the orientation of our attention. And next part of our mind, next, yes, uh, frontal lobe. Uh, it controls uh, how we sustain attention. That's to say, uh, frontal lobe is our memory. So, uh, according to one website, uh, Medical News Today, um, people who play video games 5-10 hours a week uh, have more developed memory. That's to say, their uh, frontal and parallel lobes are more developed. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so, and uh, also, there are a lot of games which can uh, teach you work together with your team or with your friends. Uh, it, they can be Counter-Strike or Face, yes. Um, in that games, you, you play with your team and you play together. Uh, without other people, you won't win the round. So, uh, that types of games uh, also can improve some, some of your skills like teamwork or your reaction. So, in conclusion, I want to say that uh, video games are more than just clicking a mouse and keyboard. Uh, they, in some ways, video games can be more, even more, more useful than books. And in, in conclusion, I want to say that video games, uh, it's more than just a game. That's all. Thank you very much.